And so our story begins. But who is the hero of our tale? Then let his destiny unfold. That's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Lucian's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. Stop it! Just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. A ladies and a gentleman. I have traveled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. See if he has any. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. See if he has any cold... We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad. But I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. For five gold coins, we could eat for a week. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? Out of here after all? What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to... do something. Belinda! Oi, kids! Come here a minute. Hello, Derek. 
Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. The warrants blew off in that direction. Through the alley by that bloke with a picture box. So, we'll look out for those warrants. But for now, let's find some more some money. relatives with a lifelike instant image. <laughs> Pull the other one. Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. Very well. Strike a pose, my young friend. Load of crap. What a calm. Load of crap. <laughs> Just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. <laughs> three months, he says. Told you it was a swindle. Stupid dog. <laughs> Easy money for us. He's a bit scary. Hope he's all right. He's 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 all right. The crap out of it. Ha! You like that, you stupid mutt? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl. Yeah, and now I'm going to hit another one. Ah! Stop it! No Let me alone, you nutter. Glad to be done. Oh, did something. you see that? That lunatic shot me right in the head. That was the best fight ever. Thanks for your help. I could have taken him though. You fight like a hero or something. Yeah. Yeah. You're so I like him. Him. Oh, that poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Oh, Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. <laughs> oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. <laughs> Come on, little sparrow. Let's go.